want to give you just a little bit of my testimony and tell you a little bit of my background, if I could. I uh, am an absolute walking miracle. Back in 2010, I was sent home from the hospital with two weeks to live. And if you could have seen me then, you would have known that uh, the doctors were right about their diagnosis because I actually looked like a walking dead woman. Um, I had been very, very ill for about a year. And I had, they diagnosed me with lupus, which was the terminal lupus. They diagnosed me with an autoimmune disease, which had turned on my organs, like uh, your immune system will turn on a virus to kill it. My, this one had turned on all my organs and was killing all of my organs. And I knew that I was dying. There was no doubt about it. I had been to every kind of doctor you could imagine. They had run every test you could imagine on me. And I am so thankful that God is still in the healing business because they sent me home from the hospital on a Friday afternoon. The doctor came in and sat down on the edge of the bed and he looked me in the eye and he had tears running down his face and he said, we don't know what else to do. Uh, we've, we've run every test that we know to run and we cannot pinpoint this autoimmune disease that you have. So he said, we have sent your blood work overseas to have it tested. And he said, until that comes back, we don't know what to do for you. But he said, I will tell you this much. He said, if we don't find it in two weeks, you won't be here anymore. And that was pretty hard to take. But I'm so glad that I had such a peace from God that came over me. And I just looked at him and I said, well, if I'm gonna die, I just soon die at home as I had here. So I said, send me home. So he sent me home from the hospital on Friday. And I gotta tell you, I go to a church in Sherman, Texas called Faith Church. And that's exactly what they have. They believe that when you ask God for something, you're gonna get it. And I went to church on that Sunday morning. And I, I can honestly say that I sat in the pew and I couldn't tell you what the pastor preached on that morning because I was so ill. I had have someone on each side of me to help me walk. I couldn't walk alone. I shook like somebody that had Parkinson's 24 hours a day. My heart rate was over 100 beats a minute, 24 hours a day, and I was very ill. But I wanted to be in God's house. I tell them now, I say, you know, I don't care what you have. I don't care what kind of sickness it is. If it's not contagious, the house of God is the best place in the world for you. You might accidentally get something that you're not even expecting. So I went that morning and I sat there and I, I, I tried to get through it. And I got home that afternoon, I rested for a while and I told my husband, I said, I wanna go back to church tonight. So I went back and I sat in the pew and I can tell you exactly what the pastor preached on that night. He talked about a little bit of faith. He said, aren't you glad you don't have to have a whole lot, just a little bit will do. And when he said that, it was just like a bright light came on over me. And I looked up and I said, Lord, I know I got enough faith to be healed. I know I do. He said, all you had to have was the size of a grain of a mustard seed. And I know I've got that much. And as I sat there and built my faith up, when the service was over, I asked him to take me down to the front because I wanted to be prayed for again. And in my church, when one person goes to the front, no matter what they need, the entire congregation goes behind them. And they don't go hoping you'll get it. They go believing you're going to get what you asked for. They prayed for me that night. And actually, to tell you the truth, I got worse. I had to sit on the front pew before I could go home. But I sat there and I collected myself and I went home. And the last thing I remember saying when, before I went to sleep was, Lord, I know I got enough faith to be healed. I woke up on Monday morning, threw my legs over the side of the bed and ran into the living room before I even knew what had happened. I was healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And I'm going to tell you something. He's still doing it today. So no matter what you need, nothing is too hard for God. All you have to do is believe what He said. He said, by His stripes, you were healed. That's not can be, may be, or will be. You already are. It's like this. We live by our five senses. That's what my pastor said, Brother Charles Glass. I love that man. He said, we live by our five senses. What you hear, smell, feel, touch, and taste. But there is a sixth sense, and that's your faith. That's the one that you have to go by. 
no matter what you're feeling in your body, it doesn't matter. You go ahead and tell the devil right straight to his face that you are healed in Jesus' name, no matter how you feel. And I guarantee you, the symptoms have to go. So I pray that today, that something I've said will touch your heart and give you the hope that you need and build your faith to where you can get what you need from God. God bless you.